All right, so this video, um, we're creating a Star Wars app using Flutter. So I'm gonna start a new Flutter application. Um, I was practicing, so yeah. Um, Star Wars Flutter. I think that's be all lowercase. Yeah. Next, leave that. Um, Y'all yeah, check these. I don't know if you already have these checked, but this is how I have my setup. So I'm gonna use the. I'm going to use the Star Wars API. Um, the only thing I don't like about this. Is, is that it doesn't have um, photos, but we can kind of solve that later in a later video. But first, I'm gonna I'm going to load people. So this is the people API right here, and I have it in this other. Well, I'll just do it so you can see. So basically, I'll just use this. And I want the JSON API, so. Um, yeah, I'll leave the link to all of this in the description also. So it gives us a JSON API. It also has pages, but we'll get to pages in a later video also. I just wanna get the basics down first. Um, all right, in this, uh, let's just run this just to make sure. So I'm waiting for this to load. Yeah. All right, so first we need to, a... there's multiple lessons in this, but we need to load JSON in the background, so I'll just search for it. Flutter load JSON, I don't know. It will show that uh, Flutter has good documentation, so I'm gonna use that. Oh yeah, so we do need a HTTP package. Oh, let's see. So we'll just add this in our public spec YAML. Uh, so let's see. That's the first. Oh, uh, all right. We'll just click packages get so that will download the get packages should have loaded so yeah this is the default flutter application you get in each app so I'm going to separate this I don't like having it <laughs> all in one page so uh, let's go to lib and right click on new and then click dart file and I'll just name it the same thing that they have right here <laughs> because I'm just going to copy that code really. so, 
me see. Okay. So copy all of this code and put it in here. Leave a blank line at the top because we need uh, to import the material. Material, okay. Actually, you also need to import that, or I have it in the. And we just need to import my home page now. So right. I'll just reload it again just to make sure everything works. But yeah, so I'll start it over again. All right, let's go back to the docs. Um, so to make a network request, use this function. We need to parse. It shows how to parse it. Um, I'm gonna do this part last because I want to make this into another video. I want to get more, a little bit more in depth with this, a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is the main cover. I'm gonna change this up a little bit, but then I'll change it back, uh, and then in another video. Just so um, I'm going more in depth of it with it. And so here's the complete example. So really, they're just loading in a grid view. They're loading images in a grid view, right? You can see right here, grid view dot builder, and they're using a feature builder in my home page. So. Um, Yeah, I'll just copy this code, which is this one. I mean, the code should, oh, well, I'll just copy it. Or should I? Yeah, I'll just, oh, well. All right, so, it will be a list of photos. Um. We list the dynamic. I'll show you why later. Um, not custom title, but let's see. Okay, yeah. So widget dot title. If you want to reference it, reference it without passing in a stateful widget, I think it's just stateful, right? Um, yeah, we need fetch photos too, but we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> and we need this photo list object too. So uh, actually, let's change the title. Star Wars. Star Wars, um, yeah, just Star Wars. Huh? Um, okay, you can change it to whatever you want. But. So we need their fetch photos function. I'm gonna change this a little bit. We also need all the all of these imports, but I'll get to that. Actually, let's do sort of a list. Yeah, we'll use this in a minute, but so. yeah, we need all of this. I'll just copy the whole thing. I copied it in material too, but let's copy it back over. And we need to change this to the endpoint of the Star Wars API. So I have it right here. And I'll leave all of this in, this in the description. All of the links, I'll use all of the documentation. So Uh, 
okay we want to decode the response body pretty sure that's how you do it I could have just did return json dot decode I just made it odd. oh well that's fine. that's fine for now um, we need this photo list but we'll change it to um people list we're gonna make a people we're going to make a people object later and fetch people Go back to the documentation. Um, the photo list is just a class right here. We'll change it to people list. Uh, now I'm going to use a list view with, uh, yeah. I don't know about the design yet. But. Really, it's just. Leave that right here for, for the next video, but it just be dynamic people. I'm just trying to show the functionality first. So, um, people list. Instead of a grid view builder, I want to, I want to use a um, a list view builder. So uh, code is almost the same, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't have a grid delegate. So but uh, change this to people. Yeah, it's all we need. and then name. I think let me check. Just gonna show the name first. Uh, I'll put this. I'll format it so you can. It makes more sense. Or you can read it better. So I'm using JSON. I'll leave this link to this too. So y'all yeah, just show name. So the. Yeah, I need to get the results object out of this. Okay. And then um, we're going to loop through the results. And then now we'll show the name first just to do it real quick. Um, so people should name it people data, but oh well, that's fine. Okay, so results equals. Results. The syntax is a lot like JavaScript in Dart, so that's all you need. Um, and so really, you need the length of the results. So yeah, this is. <laughs> It's not an image, but, um, so we'll change this to text. I think that shit will work. So we'll change this to people. Do an extra comma. I don't see any errors. Um, we'll do a wait, because I believe this takes a while to decode. It can take a while. But it's pretty short, but I did anyways. So I'll stop it and restart it. Just to see if that's what we want. Um, showing that already.
Let's see what we get. Man, I'm tired. It's like two o'clock where I'm at right now. I don't know what that is. Okay. So, <laughs> um, this should be just dynamic instead of list dynamic. So. Leave this off. Okay. All right, that's what we want. So, um. To make it look better, I'm going to use a list tile. So the list view builder. So um, hump that out for now. List tile. I believe it takes a title. Yes, I just copy this code. Let me see. I actually want to make these into variables instead of calling it each time. So I'll just do this. I should call it a person out there. I don't know. I was just copying it with Star Wars API I called it. But um so by person equals and for um name equals person name and that's what I wanna use right here. So and what should we put for the subtitle? Birth year, yeah, that'll be fine. So, yes, for the area. There's an error somewhere. Oh, there's semicolon right there. So, so that looks a little better. All right, and next, the next video. This that's all for this video. But for the next video, I wanna instead of doing this, I wanna do it in a better way. Um, the way they do this here, how they use a photo object. They also actually use compute uh, function. And it um, helps with the synchronous functions, basically, in the background. Um, I mean, it still works for what we have now, but just want to um, do it in the best way, make it more efficient. And I also want to go more into the making it to its own object. And also there's a way, somebody made a way to automate it. So I want to show that too. So that's all for this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, thanks.